And this, as you see, this is my Boolean basics that I just showed you. And in this one, what I'll be talking about is these two components. If I undergo set under sequence, what we are going to see, oh, sorry, what we are under list, sorry, what we are going to see is this patch. And the other is call pattern. And call pattern is under sequence. Okay. So what these two components doing? When we supply a list, they will ask us a dispatch pattern. In this case, it has true, false, and this has false, false, true, true, and this is the list you call. Basically, what this does, it's based on the true and false values. It puts the true labeled values onto output list A and false labeled outputs onto list B. And this will call all the items with all the information in the list if they are labeled as false and shows us only the true. So this is this may not ring a bell in your mind. So let me create an example. So let's create some random values. Like let's create in between zero and one, but it's too small. So let me create a range here. So maybe why I don't take this slide so I will have a bit more space. So between let's say 10, 0 to um, 10 and let's uh, this range let's have uh, 15 numbers and let's see what we are doing if we connect so if I call a panel here and connect this to the panel you see we are having these values and these values are some values you can round them if you want to see them a bit um, clear a bit clearer maybe so this is my nearest values and i put these values in so what is this is basically these are my this is my information right this is my normal information and what i'll be seeing if i connect the panel to the forces or list day list day going to dispatch the or it's going to separate the values that are labeled as true so this is my true values because now what it does it basically take this and this is my true value false value true value false value true value false value to so and so forth so if i grab my list b here and put it in what i'm seeing is you see false, 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 so and so forth. So basically this is my component called dispatch. It dispatch all the values based on the dispatch pattern that I supply. But it doesn't have to be, you know, true, true, false. If you create a merge component, and if you say I would be creating toggles, let's say three times. And yes. This time, if I connect this to my dispatch pattern, what I'll be seeing here is, oops, wrong direction. So what it does, basically, it will take, you see, false, false, true, and true goes to here. False, false, true, and true goes to here. False, false, true, and true goes to here, and so on and so forth. So basically, this is the one that we are using as we go with the dispatch. So if I take the same example and use it below, so if I copy paste this, and if I use this value, again, copying and pasting the round, oops, not control X, control C and control V. So let's say this is my value. And if I pull out a panel, connect this panel to here, for my 14 values and if I connect my another panel here to the output of my list call pattern you see it takes out all the information based on its pattern but this pattern this time is not true false it's false false true true so false false they're gone true true they stay false false they're gone true true they stay 
and so on and so forth. Obviously, what we can do here, we can connect two Boolean toggles, not this one. And we can say true and false. You see this time true, false, true, false. It only keeps the true values as we speak. So let me also group this, but you will see that group in the other video. So I don't want to take more time of yours. So that's pretty much it. What we do with this patch and call pattern. And I'll see you in the next video.